The German word Zeitgeist means the spirit of the times or the spirit of the age. Zeitgeist is the general cultural, intellectual, ethical, spiritual, or political climate along with the general ambiance, morals, mood, and socio-cultural direction associated with an era. Nature, or at least that portion of nature that is non-human, contributes greatly to the zeitgeist. However, human beings, our behavior, and our social, political, and economic structures also contribute to the spirit. If we could, we might ask Jeremy Bentham and his compatriots whether they are the protagonists, antagonists, or mentors of the zeitgeist in our current cultural epoch. Perhaps they are all three, perhaps none of them. On the other hand, they might tell us that, as collective humanity, all of us are the hero, mentor, and enemy within the mythos of this zeitgeist. We passed out of the former Greco-Roman epoch and into the present Anglo-German epoch during the early 15th century. Within this age of materialism, we have given birth to a new entity among us. It acts as if it were human. Since the late 19th century, it has gained human-like rights under national laws and in the marketplace. In order to understand economic cycles and financial crises, we first must understand the major protagonist and antagonist, the incorporated company. In their book, The Company, A Short History of a Revolutionary Idea, business historians John Micklethwaite and Adrian Wooldridge trace the development of the modern corporation from the 13th century to the present. The authors note that the way we produce, trade, and finance within our epoch increasingly has been a result of the corporate form. Since the development of the Corporation of the City of London a millennium ago, this form of business entity has changed the way that we organize many of our human activities on a global scale.